2024 exploded with Yannick Sinner's Australian Open win, grabbing his first Grand Slam and shocking the tennis universe. After a 2023 packed with mind-blowing feats and toppling giants like Djokovic, Sinner's Melbourne magic was epic. Facing Medvedev in the final wasn't just a match, it became a legendary moment sparking widespread buzz. Are you wondering how the tennis world reacted to Sinner's epic victory? Let's dive into the saga of Sinner's ascent and the Australian Open triumph that rewrote history. The tournament so far, he's deservedly in the finals. He outplayed me completely today. Novak Djokovic, stunned by Yannick Sinner's brilliance in their Australian Open semifinal, didn't hold back. He outplayed me completely, admitted the 24-time Grand Slam champ. Look, I was shocked with my level, in a bad way. There was not much I was doing right in the first two sets. This is one of the worst Grand Slam matches I've ever played, at least that I remember. The 22-year-old Italian just did the unthinkable, breaking Djokovic's serve twice in the first two sets for a jaw-dropping 6-1, 6-2, 6-7, 6-3 victory at the Australian Open. This wasn't just any win, it shattered Djokovic's legendary 33-match winning streak in Melbourne, a fortress where he had never tasted defeat in a semifinal showdown. The Serbs' last loss in Melbourne dates back to 2018. Sinner, the ultimate game-changer, stopped the tennis titan in his tracks, derailing Djokovic's Grand Slam dream. After the final played by the Italian, Djokovic also extended congratulatory wishes to Sinner for winning the Australian Open 2024. Bravo, Yannick. Deserved. Congratulations to your team and your family, the Serb wrote on Instagram. Djokovic also analyzed the improvements Sinner has made in his game in the recent past, marveling at the Italian's turbocharged serve and laser-sharp precision. I think his serve improved a lot. He's hitting his corners very well, and I think he's up his speed as well, serving bigger now and more precise, movement overall and mental part. You know, he was always very calm, very composed on the court. The serve also had high praise for coach Darren Cahill's impact, highlighting how Sinner is mastering now big match moments, thanks to Cahill's wisdom and mental coaching. Yeah, he's got a great team, he's, he's on a very good path. It seems like it's all clicking for Sinner. The funny thing though, Djokovic called the rise of Yannick back in 2021, and boom, like a prophet, he was right. Yannick is blasting into the tennis future. You know, he's the future of our sport. He's already actually uh, already the present of our sport. Sinner and Djokovic is indeed one of the most exciting matchups that we have in tennis right now. It started as a Djokovic show, but Sinner's flipped the script, snagging wins in three of their last four battles. This rivalry's heating up, promising edge of your seat showdowns ahead. Next up, tennis legend Rafael Nadal, with 22 majors under his belt, couldn't help but be wowed by Sinner's stellar run at the Australian Open. At 37, Nadal's cheering loud for the young Italian prodigy, declaring Sinner a national hero for Italy. Wow, congratulations, Jan. Spectacular tournament. What a great win for you, your team, your family, and your country, Italia. Rafael Nadal wrote, followed by an emoji of Italy's national flag. It's worth mentioning that although Nadal leads Sinner in their head-to-head 3-0, -head they haven't clashed since Sinner rose to the top ranks in 2022. Maybe we'll have some more battles between the two in 2024. Who knows? Moving now to Daniel Medvedev, the central figure in Sinner's stunning Australian Open saga, who tipped his hat to the Italian after a breathtaking final. Medvedev, who's faced heartbreak in Melbourne before, found himself on the losing end of a historic comeback, with Sinner flipping a two-set deficit to win 3-6, 3-6, 6-4, 6-4, 6-3. Despite the defeat, Medvedev's admiration was clear. I want to congratulate Yannick, Medvedev said. Today, you showed again why you deserve it. You fought till the end, managed to raise your level. You and your team are doing an amazing job. The Russian lost both the 2021 and 2022 finals to Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic, respectively, but he still couldn't claim the title as Sinner staged a superb comeback. Medvedev has also lost his last three encounters against the 22-year-old Italian, with Sinner beating him in the ATP World Tour semifinals in Turin, after already getting the better of him in the finals in Vienna and Beijing earlier last year. Predicting this wouldn't be Sinner's last Grand Slam victory speech, Medvedev acknowledged Sinner's incredible comeback and the powerhouse team behind behind him. Now, not only did Djokovic and Medvedev recognize Sinner's triumph, but tennis sensation Naomi Osaka also foresaw his success. 
the Japanese icon showered praise on Sinner, openly discussing her prediction. Despite a disappointing Australian Open for Osaka exiting in the first round, her foresight about Sinner's victory proved accurate. She revealed discussing about Sinner with her coach before the Open, expressing excitement with his performance. Osaka remarked, Before the Open started, I was talking to Veeam Fissette about Sinner, so I feel in a way we both kept tabs on him. Honestly, it was really exciting to watch. Just seeing him beat Djokovic was really signaling that the young guys are really out here. In a whirlwind of excitement, also the world number one women's singles player Iga Sviantic rushed to X to hail the Italian for his monumental victory. What a match! What a fight! Congrats, Yanni! Sviantic exclaimed. Not to be outdone, two-time Australian Open champion Victoria Azarenka joined the chorus of praise, tweeting, Congratulations to Yannick and your team. What an incredible player he was. The evolution over last year to now become a Grand Slam champion is very impressive. But that's not all. Even Serena Williams' ex-coach Renee Stubbs couldn't contain her admiration for Yannick Sinner. After his historic Grand Slam win, Stubbs unveiled her lofty expectations for the Italian tennis sensation. During the AO Recap podcast, Stubbs made a bold call about Sinner's future. She sees him reaching the pinnacle of tennis, claiming the top spot in 2024. There is no question that Yannick Sinner is um, prepared, and I think, I really do believe this, I think he's going to be uh, number one in the world by the end of the year. I think he can absolutely be number one, because, because of the fact that he did not have great um, Grand Slams major results last year. With Stubbs foreseeing multiple Grand Slam titles in Sinner's future, it's no wonder she couldn't contain her enthusiasm. This is a guy who, without question, can win multiple Grand Slams this year. He is capable. He is arguably the best player in the world right now, she exclaimed, encapsulating the fervor surrounding Sinner's rise to tennis stardom. Now back to beautiful Italy. Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney rolled out the red carpet, celebrating Sinner's triumphant return with a grandissimo and a replay of that winning moment at the Kigi Palace in Rome. In a joint photo session with the Australian Open trophy and the Italian flag, Sinner and Maloney shared smiles, capping off their meeting with a warm embrace. Maloney later took to X to express her gratitude, saying, Thank you, Yannick, for the example you gave us to sports lovers, to our young people, and all of Italy. But he didn't stop there. He blitzed through records, clinching the title as the youngest Aussie Open winner since Djokovic back in 2008. Then, in the semifinals, Sinner delivered a knockout blow, ending Djokovic's mind-boggling 33-match winning streak at the Aussie Open. But wait! There's more. He also halted Djokovic's 17-match winning streak against top five players at the AO, showcasing his dominance on the court. But perhaps the cherry on top of this tennis Sunday, when Sinner made Italian tennis history, toppling a reigning world number one at a Grand Slam since ATP rankings began in 1973. And since the U.S. Open in 2023, he's been an unstoppable force, boasting an impressive record against the tennis elite. And with just one major loss to Djokovic in the ATP Finals Final at the end of last year, Sinner's now 27-3 since the U.S. Open, solidifying his status as a tennis powerhouse. With these incredible achievements under his belt, and with all the praise from the tennis community, Sinner has firmly cemented himself as a force to be reckoned with on the tennis court. And yes, this is just the beginning of his journey to tennis greatness.